1990, Jerry and Monique Sternen went to Vietnam to try to fight severe child malnutrition for the non-governmental organization, Save the Children. Analysts had determined the causes were many, poverty, poor sanitation, lack of education, etc. Sternen called this information TBU, true but useless. Instead, he went looking for what might already be working. He asked the question, are there children from poor families who are much healthier than the norm? Once identified, Sternen discovered that the mothers of these children were doing little things that made a big difference. They were feeding their children four times a day instead of two, using the same amount of food in smaller portions. They used brine shrimp from the rice paddies and sweet potato greens in their children's diet, even though they were considered low-class foods. Sternen described these situations as positive deviance, an idea first posited by Marion Seitlin. These are situations that deviate from the norm in a positive way. The Sternens were then able to replicate these bright spots to teach other mothers the simple changes in food preparation. In six months, 65% of the children in the villages Sternen served were better nourished. The method ultimately reached 2.2 million children across Vietnam. Out of this came the Positive Deviance Initiative that has helped improve childhood nutrition in 41 countries around the world. That's big change. And it started with a small, bright spot. When we are following God, the entire path is seldom, if ever, revealed to us. If it were, it wouldn't really be faith. It starts with small steps like a mustard seed. As Stephen Covey says, you can begin with the end in mind, but the path from here to there is not always clear. That's okay. A positive deviance approach assumes that you already have the solutions and the place to look for them is in what's already working. Look for unconventional behaviors that seem to have outsized results. Then find ways to promote their adoption on a wider scale. And remember, in all of this, God is with you.